Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Grey Hunter, where we were still playing as Nathaniel, Duke of Normandy, Brittany, and Munster, who's still only 42. Like, he's not that old, considering how old some of his ancestors were. Which is pretty cool. So we'll just continue with time. We're currently at war over Ulster, I believe. Or were we fighting for the Cumberland? Yeah, we were fighting for the Cumberland. What? Queen Sancha? Oh, okay, right, I see. Uh, people going to war with us over the Cumberland. Spiritual art has increased. That's nice, but that's not what we want. Now, I don't know if I've ex <gasps> No! She died! Wait, was she my youngest daughter? She was! She was cool. I liked her. Now I've just got you left. I can't choose who you marry. Hopefully you'll choose someone good. Oh, that, no, that was that was disappointing. I don't like it when um, peasants have revolted. That's actually not a bad thing. Pause time. Raise all my own levies. And assemble in that place that I gave to Herbert. So I'll explain what I was going to explain after we finish this. What happened? Guy de Normandy. That's nice. Who's he? Is he anyone important? Doesn't have claims on anything. Sibylla of Kent. I guess I could ask him if he wants to come to me. No? Opinion of Count Alexander. Oh, Count Alexander of Syracuse. Hmm. Whose liege lord is the Duchess of Sicily and also the Baroness of one of my spots. I wonder if I could declare war on her for that. No. Apparently I don't have a valid Casus Belli. But you would think I would, because it's technically part of my county. I'm pretty sure that's hers. Oh, I see. If I was to declare war, it would be on him. But no, I don't mind him being in that. A daughter was born to Brian and Anezka, named Ida. Idaho. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, do I want to lead this? I'm leading troops in the Cumberland. I think I want them. I think I want to be over here, actually. So um, yes, yes, I will. Assuming I can choose myself, I can. Good. I will lead that flank. So long as I'm not over in, um, in the middle of West Bumfuck, I don't care. Alrighty. Advance. Wait. There's no rivers or anything between us. No. No, no. We should mash them into a bloody pulp. Come on, go. Scoot. Do your thing. And occasionally you'll get uh, good army leading traits from this as well, so it's good to crush rebellions yourself. Plus, uh, once you do that... Why not? Oh, because she died. Okay, fair enough. You have passed on really shitty traits. Uh, if you lead the battle yourself, or you at least command some of it, yourself, you have a good chance of becoming... Ooh. Damn straight, and I'm thinking I might want to fulfill his ambition. You, sir, get the hell out. Uh, wait, yeah, he does want to become steward. Uh, no. I can find somebody... I already, I already did the whole thing, didn't I? Wait, are you any good? You're actually not that bad. And you're Norman, so that's fine. Yeah, go, do it. Um, as I was saying, if you lead the army yourself, or you at least have um, part of it led by yourself, it's always good because you um, have a higher chance of gaining good traits. Like, I think he has one already. No, he didn't have one. Maybe his father had one. Or his grandfather. No, none of them had any. Okay, well the point is... <laughs> you can sometimes get traits like uh, good army commanders for uh, specific sorts of things. So, does Arnold have one? No. There's got to be somebody who has one. Hmm, okay. Let's see. If I went to my daughter and I went there, there's got to be somebody who has something. Oh, hello. That could be good, but he's a count, so he won't accept a matrilineal marriage. There we go. That guy. You can get these traits. 
which uh, add to your ability in certain fields, which can always be good. So hopefully Nathaniel will get something from this. He's still leading his flank, so he actually did pretty well. Point office. Did I have something already? Yes, I did. Yes, I would like to be steward. Thank you very much. Come on, fulfill my ambition. Oh, right. I had paused. <laughs> okay, what can I choose? I can choose to improve my, improve my diplomacy. That's as good as anything else, I suppose. Uh, we'll disband these guys, keep it our fellas, and march over there. Awesome. So I've been sent to research economy tech in Middlesex. Ah, speaking of, I actually thought of a better spot to send my uh, spymaster to do the whole studying technology. Because at this point in history, the Muslims of southern Spain were actually really, 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 really good at tech. So I don't think there's actually a tech option, like, so you can view different sorts of tech. But this one has 16 in economy and 16 in culture, and those were the two that I was really focusing on. Because um, here, they've got a... where is it? They've got 2.5 for improved keeps, and 2.4 for castle infrastructure. I need both of those if I'm to improve my castles and my holdings in general to a really, really good state. So I want that. But they've also got, in the culture advances, 2.6 in legalism. So they get penalties because they're ahead, but I've actually got a fairly good spy master, so I'm going to hope that if I send him over to study tech here in Granada, hello Mada, hello Fada, he'll do okay. I guess I could have sent him to uh, Mauritania or something like that. I might later. Actually, there we go. I should send him to Fig... Figuig? Figuig. This place that is owned by Sheik Adam. Who's your dad? Sheik Adam. That, that's not what I was expecting, but anyway, not the point. Point is, that is a good spot to send your spy master to study technology if you can get there. And if you've got a good one, because obviously if you've got a really bad spy master, he's not going to have that much of a good chance. But he's got a 21.37% chance yearly to get something. So that's good enough for me. But let us also go on a... hang on, what, what? Oh, that's right! He flipped, didn't he? He went to English. Well, hell no, I'm not doing that. Um... Was anyone going to join me in this? That's right. I tried to bribe him, but he said no because he likes him too much. Yeah, there's not really anybody, but I guess as long as I'm not actually trying to kill him actively, it'll be okay. So why do you want to kill him? You are the heir. Oh, I see. You're his son. Fair enough. Uh, can I invite you to court? No, I can't. I can ask you to end your plot, but I really don't care, so let's see. Is there anybody who's good that I could marry you to? What are you good at? You're semi-good at everything. Stewardship is really a strong point, though. You're 19. She's 23. Uh, they're not a bad match. Let's see if we got anyone better first. I thought she was related to me somehow. Perhaps I am wrong. But yeah, that's actually not too bad. No. Oh, I see, right, because um, he would lose prestige for it. Well, that's okay. At least you don't have to nursemaid everybody. Oh, right, I forgot about these. I always forget about these guys. How I raised them, even though they're, you know, there. Okay. So let's have a look at our tech. Um, we'll do the whole hunting thing first as well. Go on a grand hunt. Yes. I can also hold another province, so if we get a chance to, I'll probably take Armien and then hold on to it for a while. The French are at... oh, I thought they were still at war. Maybe. Obviously not. Um, right, so we're going on our hunt. Now let's have a look at the technology in Mortain, because Mortain is our capital, so that's the important one. Oh, well we did exactly fuck all on that. That's okay. 
but we've got a castle infrastructure of 1.2 we want to have at least two because as we can see training grounds require it and improved keeps is also a big one so we've got a 1.5 there so that's actually not too bad we're not too far ahead uh, blessings upon you and your house. I have discovered a plot where Duke Ralph of Oxford seeks to see the Duchy of Brittany granted to a new ruler. That's swine. Yeah, that happens if you have um, more than two duchies. Two is fine, and nothing more than that. They get a little bit snippy. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I wonder. Large city tax would be good. Because then we'd get more money and we'd be able to expand everything quicker. Mm -hmm. They all kind of like me. It'll only become a problem later. After I die. And maybe not even then, because he's... Brian's not that bad. He's a little iffy. But he's not that bad. He does only have the one child, though. And she didn't pick up any of the good traits, so that's a little worrying. It's not that bad, though. Could be a lot worse. Ah, good, she's got some good traits. It might be time to have a look and see if we can get a alliance with somebody who's independent. He's not. Hmm. Somehow I don't think we'll be able to find that many people who are independent. But it's worth having a look still. Hmm. Actually, let's see if there's anybody who's matrilineal who would accept it. You would, for some reason. Maybe you're not heir to anything. You would too. That's odd. Very strange. Hmm. There's a lot of these prince fellas who would accept things. I thought he already was part of our family somehow. Oh no, I just want to see him. Bring me to him. No? I thought this was in the line. No, yeah, it was. It was. His dad was that fella. And then his dad was this fella. Ah, there, yeah, there we go. Found it. See, he's, he had some. He had Organizer and Flanker, which are both very good. Okie dokie. So let's see, is there anything in particular that we want? Yes and no. We need to increase tax income, obviously. So let's have a look at different places. Does Mortain already have a castle city? Yes, it does. So we need castle infrastructure of at least two for that. To go any higher. You've got one. We know Rouen doesn't. Meloon is sort of mi Yeah, it has one though. We'll worry about it later. Ren. Yeah, even Ren has one. Waterford, I'm not too concerned about for now. So... We'll upgrade Rouen. Yes, I will spend that 200 gold. Thank you very much. Countess Eleanor of Sen is trying to usurp my title. Okay. Let's have a look at this guy. He's a drunkard, he's diligent, he's cruel, envious, gregarious, and a mastermind theologian. I could try to bribe him, or I could try to kill him. I'll try to bribe him. It's a temporary thing, but eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I've decided to accept your generous offer, and you can rest assured that I won't find anything that can be used to fabricate a claim within the next year. Good. Technically, she doesn't have any claim on my lands anyway. She just sort of wants Paris because, well, if we have a look here in the economy one, if I can find it, there it is. Paris is bright green. It's got tax income of 72 gold. All of our personally held domain is actually pretty profitable. These ones aren't too bad. They're actually fairly profitable as well, but not to the same extent as our personal holdings. Obviously, Ormond is the exception. We finally won his War for the Cumberland. 
took a while. Should not have taken him that long. He's a big king. He can kick ass. Now, the one thing I am a bit afraid of is if... Uh, because Prince Gilbert, right? This fella is the one who is the heir to the Kingdom of England. But his half-brother, Prince Herman, is heir to the Kingdom of Castile. But if Herman were to off Gilbert, he'd become king of both. So that's something we might have to watch out for in the coming future. Can I move you again? I can move you again. Okay, Fugue. Nice. Solid effort. Yeah, they've got all the uh, infrastructure things I want, so that's perfect. You sit there, you do your studying. I want you to learn, learn everything about them. Alright, Mortain. What can we build here that could be useful? Shallow Castle Moat. Not really all that useful at the moment, because we're not going to war against anyone in our own right. So, kind of useless. Knights Lists would be perfect. But uh, Expanded Keep is also pretty good. Crusade for Jerusalem. We might actually join in on that. Uh, El Fulk of... Yeah. See, they know he killed him. So, where is... Fulk? There he is. He should have... Yep, he has Kinslayer. You killed your close relative. You are a silly man. Now, presumably, that's his brother. Yes, it is. I wonder, would you accept an arranged marriage between yourself and... Probably not her. No, I don't think you would. Oh, you would? Good, done. The only problem is he is English. I don't want... English people to be in uh, control in my realm because obviously you know occasionally they will flip and I don't want them to flip to English we've got some English lords over here a lot of these guys are Norman though and some of them are Saxon which is kind of interesting because usually the uh, the English melting pots absorb them by now I don't know it's funky I like it though <laughs> it means I don't have to worry about it alrighty you became a fortune builder. You have got some really shitty traits. But it could be worse. Alright, let's see if we can bring anyone of good breeding and blood into our... Oh, these are all guys hanging out in our counties. Okay, let's see if we can find anybody with good stewardship. He's somewhat young. An aggressive leader. That's actually not bad. Let's see. Anybody? No, you're a prince of Sicily. You're, you're going to inherit something, so you definitely wouldn't come. She's of good breeding age. So assuming we can find somebody who's about the same age, should do pretty well. Hmm. Who's her? Ah, Tancred. Okay. That makes sense. You. Are you heir to anything? I don't think you are. Would you come to our court? No. You like that fellow too much. Fair enough. What about you? Would you come to our court? Really? No reason to move, apparently. Well, fair enough. What about you, Andre? Would you come to my court? No, we're outweighed by a single thingy, though, so if I sent you 20 gold... Aha! Yes, you would be good. I actually like him. He could be quite useful. Come on. Uh, peace be with you. I accept your suggestion that they get married. Well, come on. I hope and make your choice. Excellent. Your courtier. I would like to... Whoa. Whoa. I didn't realize he had all those. We'll never be able to press them, but that's pretty cool. Um, 
Right, so we want to do a matrilineal marriage of high stewardship, so people in my... Oh, I guess I could get people from other places to come here, but I'd like him to marry... Uh... Can I demand that? Yes, I can. Okay, well, we'll get him to convert religiously first. Because we don't want a sudden uh, orthodox grouping to crop up in our very own counties. So let's see, I want you to marry... what's Kaplan, wasn't it? Yes. And I want you to do it matrilineally. Swell source. Don't think he gets a choice. No, he doesn't. But he'll like me more because uh, even though I demanded his religious conversion, I got him married, so he'll be happy about that. And she should be too. Yep, she likes us because of that. So he's actually got some fairly good traits. He's got a few iffy ones, but I like his learning. So I'm thinking that perhaps we might be able to get a good uh, learning fellow out of this. Successor nomination. Why? Did the current king die? No, oh, he's still hanging out. Maybe his first heir died. Yeah, he did. He died. How did he die, though? Oh, after a period of illness. Fair enough. No foul play there. Uh, France. We can nominate somebody. Just for the giggles, I'm going to nominate Duke of Miquel. Because I don't like him. Now, I also have a claim on the Kingdom of France. So it's entirely possible that at some point, if the current king is bad enough, his vassals might uh, revolt. Oh, that's good. It's well. Uh, his vassals might revolt and attempt to what do you mean maybe his vassals might revolt and stop him from um, being king by proclaiming me as king he says no because he's got uh, political concerns hang on wait what aren't you my yeah you're my nephew you should be stopping this Son of a bitch. Alright, well, as long as we remove most of his power base. My son. You bastard. You will, or I'll have you thrown in irons. Uh, the Duke of York. Well, that's interesting. The Duke of York and the Duke of Lancaster are my relatives. You say no. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Ralphie, Ralphie, my man. Base reluctance. Well, what if you liked me more? What if I gave you that much money? Mm, we still say no. Well, that's okay. I can get you excommunicated and kill you. Uh, it'll cost me a hundred piety, and if granted, it will be seen as a slight by his relatives. I don't know if I can declare war on him, though, because I'm pretty sure that we've got... Um, yeah, we've got medium crown. But that's okay, I can always kill him. So, you know what, Miquel? You're okay, you're safe because you're not in my country. You, on the other hand, sir, you, you need to die. Is there anybody with actual plot power? No. But you can ask people outside of the, uh, the place where they are. So, he says no. But, he likes me. So he might say yes eventually. But yeah, you can ask some you can ask certain people. Like this guy, he doesn't like Duke Ralph. So because he likes me that little bit, he's more inclined to help. I think I can only ask equal level vassals though. So I can't like I can't ask earls, etc. Uh sweetness. say no. Dear father, peace be with you. I will not withdraw my support. Well, that's fine. Hmm. Peace be with you. An intriguing scheme. Excellent. Duke of York. Are you the same Ralph? No, you're a different Ralph. Ah. 
but we've got three for three, so if I sent you a gift, you might just say yes. Ha ha ha! Swell. Oh, I can ask you. Is that because you are his vassal? Probably. So if I sent you... Ooh, that's a lot. What if I gave you one of my kids? I'm nervous about doing that, though. Hmm... Hmm... No. No, no, I won't do it. I... C oh, it wouldn't increase enough, anyway. Can't ask an underage duke. Could ask this prince. Mm, that would only make it three for three, but it's only 32 gold, so let's give it a go. No. He still doesn't like us enough. That's okay. What about you? No. Okay, we're back at the beginning again. I wonder. You can also ask people outside of the realm if they have a reason for hating the person, so you can sometimes get some good people. You are not a happy camper, are you? No, no you are not. On the other hand, do I want to arrest him? I could. I could arrest him. But because he's acted dishonorably towards us, no one will care. We have a 69% chance of doing so. Does he have any allies? He does. And the problem is that these allies are within my realm, so they might just rebel. That's okay. We'll deal with it when we get to it. We should be alright. Uh, you will indeed help me. Ralph of Norfolk. At age 59, Guy de Hortville died a natural death. Well, I'd hope so. Alright, so we've got 51% plot power. Is there anybody with good stuff? Hmm. He's not willing to join in at the moment, but he's got he's got some plot power. Hmm. Nah, it's not really worth it. I think I might have to resort to simply killing him. He's the one who is it him who doesn't like me? Yeah. Yeah, it is him. And that is presumably his son. Yes. Okay. He's actually got fairly good state intrigue. What would be our chance? Oh, we need at least 250. Well, that's fine. We'll just continue on. Now, merry way. Let's see. You're at war. In Savalax. Where the hell's that? Oh. That's interesting. Oh, there you are. So presumably that guy is fighting for independence. Wow. That's Finland? Oh dear, I'm ill. That's Finland. How the hell did you get that much power? Wow, what are they fighting over? Oh, I see. They all want independence. To be fair, I'd want independence too. Denmark's scattered all over the place. That's weird. How's the Holy Roman Empire doing? They have a new Kaiser, and he's... 13. I wonder. Could I arrange a betrothal between yourself and one of my daughters? Um. Hmm. She's kind of meh at most things, so why not? Hell yeah. Done deal. The prestige is a good thing. For one, uh, one note. And I'm fairly certain that we can call him into some wars. The fever is gone, my nose is dry, the headache is long gone, and I feel alive. I'm alive! Oh, hooray. He's actually got some pretty good traits. He's a little bit iffy, but it's not bad. Now what are you guys doing? You're at war. 
Oh right, the crusade. <laughs>